gon' feed him if you're coming for me. Hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head. I'm seeing. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood, and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frostbite they feeling. I could tear you apart, or I could go heal them. Don't believe in fate. Don't believe in ceilings. I just need. The taste in my mind starts peeling. I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling. Got lust for change, I just love the feeling. Uh. I ain't gonna give up. Got too little time, I'ma live up. Head down, push. Now, if there's one thing I'm guilty of and that I've done in the past myself was panic selling. Now, keep in mind, you cannot lose any money if you do not sell your coins. Here's why. It's the value of the coins that can go up and down. But the number of coins you have is what matters. So if you have 100 coins today, you're going to have 100 coins in one month from now or a year from now or in 10 years from now if you don't sell them. So all you need to do is wait that the price goes up before thinking of cashing out. And you'll never lose money as long as you invest in coins that have a utility and that are here to stay, such as, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum. There's plenty of coins that are here to stay. And the only way you could lose money is if you sell at a price lower than you paid for. So if you purchased here and the price went down and you sold there, for sure you're going to lose money. But if you just wait that the price goes back up because what goes up must come down and what comes down must go up. You just need to be patient and wait that the price goes up to a price that you want to sell it at, where you could take a profit. In my opinion, people who do panic selling are people who cannot afford what they've invested. If you're in it for the long run, whether you wait one week, one month or one year that the price goes back up, that's irrelevant if you can afford to let the money fluctuate. But one thing's for sure, and that's a, a hard lesson I learned, I never panic sell anymore. No matter what I see in social medias or on YouTube, I understood a long time ago that when things are done, they eventually go back up. So all you need to do is do like me and be patient when you see prices go down. And when prices go down, obviously, it's a good opportunity to buy the dip. Please move on to the next part of the training.